Today we're going to look at how to create a cylinder in the Windows 7, 8, 10, and Veronic software for the Series 4000. It's a pretty simple process. You're going to be open up your software, which will put you on the profile page. Next step will be to hit the cylinder button. To add a new cylinder, you simply hit the add button on the right hand side of the screen. Give your cylinder a name, anything that you'd like. Um, you can also add some additional information here if you choose to. Next is select the gas or gases that make up that cylinder from the drop down menu. A shortcut is once you've opened the menu, if you hit the first letter of gas, in this example N for nitrogen, it jumps you to the N's. Makes it a little quicker, a little bit of a shortcut. Uh, and then hit add gas once you have the gas of interest here. In this case, that's all I'm doing, it's 100% tank, I'm done. So my next step is just simply to hit save. Once you've done that and the gas cylinder is uh, saved correctly, you'll see the name that you've selected over in the left hand column. To add a cylinder with more than one gas, it's the same process. Click on add, give the cylinder a name. We'll make this a 10% CO2 cylinder. So I'll begin by adding my nitrogen. And then I'll then I'm gonna hit the letter C to jump back up. Get my CO2, add. Again, this is 10%, so I will add 10% here. Once I click off of that, you'll see the nitrogen will uh, adjust itself to 90%. If you want to use a PPM level, um, you would simply click on, double click on the units, and then you can select PPM instead of percent. Um, you'd want to do that for both of the gases. Once all of your gases, as many as you need, are entered here, again, just hit save and you'll see the cylinder is saved and now available on the left-hand side. That's all there is to it. To edit a cylinder, if you need to go back and edit, again, very easy, click the edit button, go in, make whatever changes you need. Like I find out this is actually a 5% cylinder. I go back in, change it to five. See that goes to 95 and I click save. You'll also notice that if there's a K factor adjustment to be made, that will be calculated uh, here in this window and you can view that as it changes. Thank you for watching this video. We hope it was helpful for you. Follow our blog for more information on using our newest software or call or email us if you have any questions.